Hello everybody, welcome in, welcome back. I am Chris the Girl and today we are going shopping at Ulta. Let me know down in the comments below right now if you are the same kind of person that I am, if you're in the same toxic cycle that I seem to be in, where whenever you're, you need makeup stuff or beauty products or whatever it is, skincare, whatever it may be, you don't need just one thing. You need several things. <laughs> Like everything seems to run out at the exact same time. That is where I am right now. I need a lot of stuff from Ulta, makeup, skincare, even hair care stuff. I seem to be out of all of the things. So I thought I would go ahead and take you all along with me on this Ulta trip. And uh, we would do some shopping here together. Unfortunately, because I need so many things at the same time, we're gonna be dropping a lot of money today. I already know that in. I have mentally I've mentally prepared myself before we even go inside that I'm about to spend a lot of money unfortunately because like I said everything just seems to run out at the exact same time so oh well it is what it is and as far as skincare stuff goes makeup and hair care those are the items that I don't skimp on that I don't cheap out on I usually allow myself to spend a little bit more money on those items because I feel like they're really important, <laughs> especially the skincare and especially the hair care. Those items are very important. I don't skimp on those. I, I allow myself to go a little bit extra on them. But yeah, I figured also while we're in there and I'm shopping for the things that I need to grab, um, I would also go ahead and point out some of the items that I use on the regular makeup, skincare, hair stuff all of that, all of those good things. Um, I thought I would point that out as well, in case you all were curious. And um, yeah, we're just gonna walk around, see what's going on at Ulta. This is this could be the most dangerous trip of all time. <laughs> um, but we're gonna try to temper ourselves. We're gonna, we're gonna try to not spend all of the money. So no worries, it's gonna be fun. We're gonna have a great time. Thanks everybody for clicking on the video. I hope that you enjoy it. And without further ado, let us get going. Let's get shopping. Hi, welcome in. Hi. Okay, we made it inside. We're heading into the Fenty Beauty aisle. This is Rihanna's skincare and makeup line in here. And I have to say, been using a lot of her products lately. A lot of her products. I feel like these are very hit or miss, personally. They're either like really, really excellent or a hard pass for me. So I'll show you some of those items here. Like for example, the um, her primers here. She has a soft silk one, a true matte one, and a soft matte. I've been using the soft matte primer. Don't need it right now. I'm not gonna grab it right now, but I love it. It is really, really nice. I like to put it on um, without any makeup too. Sometimes I'll just put it on um, when I'm hanging out around the around the house. It, it takes away a little bit of my shine. I have very oily skin, so would definitely recommend the primer. It's very nice. A few other things that I really, really like from Fenty that I've been using a lot, but I'm not going to be buying right now because don't need them right now. But her blush, her cream blush. I don't do powders anymore, um, just in case they have uh, like ingredients there that I don't like. I'm not saying that hers does. I really don't know. I haven't looked into it. Um, like talcum powder and things like that is usually what uh, is in powder stuff. So I've just been trying to stay away from it as much as possible. So I've been going to creams for all of my contouring and blush and all of that good stuff. And I've been using her cream blush and it is amazing. I have a really, really uh, dark red color. Might be this one. I'm not sure which one I use. I'm not gonna lie to you, but uh, it's a very deep red color and I love it. Additionally, her um, match stick here, a little stick thing. The contour stick, amazing, love it. It's really great, been uh, using the heck out of mine. And I don't know what I've been doing all this time without it, so the hype is real on these. The Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pencil, one of my 
most favorite things. If you watched my Target video recently, then you saw that I grabbed a brow pencil and it has been not the best thing in the entire world. I kind of foolishly thought that every brow pencil was the same. That is not true. Some are more superior than others. And we're definitely grabbing the, uh, the Brow Wiz pencil here. Highly recommend, I love it. Been using it for the longest dang time and uh, does good things for me. So now I just have to remember what color. I think it's dark brown. As far as liquid eyeliners go, I've always used uh, Stila or Stila. I honestly don't know how to pronounce it. Someone will let me know down in the comments below, but this one is is uh, been my been my favorite brand. I heard recently that uh, these drunk elephant drops here are like really really popular. Apparently, thirty eight dollars D bronzy sunshine drops, and uh, basically they're supposed to give you like a nice bronzed sort of skin. And I don't know, everybody's like going crazy for these apparently. So I kind of wanted to give these a try. $38, that's a pretty penny to give something a try, but I'd be willing to do it. I don't know if this is gonna be the trip though, to be honest, because like I said, we're spending a lot of money. To, we're spending a lot of money today, so I don't know if I'm gonna be picking up random things today. And Calm is a brand that I have surprisingly been using. Yeah, I don't know about surprisingly, but I've been using a lot of lately and not, um, I guess not consciously, but I just, I have been. Like for example, I've been using their, mascara this one in particular for a while and i love it it works really really well can definitely recommend also have been using their primer for a really long time their mascara pri primer it's uh, been one of my favorites i use both of those together and they work amazingly like i said could absolutely recommend and then just recently i started using this um, not this color specifically, but this brand of, um, foundation. This, I don't know if I could 100% recommend. It's been okay. It hasn't been horrible, but, um, it's definitely very matte. And it does say natural matte finish, so that makes sense. But as I grow older, I get more lines on my face and I'm not sleeping as much as I should, etc., etc. I feel like this just accentuates that instead of hides it well. So when I'm done with this one, I'm definitely gonna be looking for a different foundation to be using, but it's been it's been okay. It hasn't been too bad. Moving on to the skincare, we'll we'll probably go back to the makeup in just a sec here, but uh Dermalogica is a brand that I've been using for, for a little bit here. Pretty pleased with all the things that I've been using. I need to get more skin wash, face wash from them. I'm almost out of my thing. So yep, this is it right here. This clearing skin wash. Breakout clearing cleanser. This is the one that I've been using. It is a whopping $68. Oh, is that because it's a big one? Might be the big one. Maybe it's 40. Which one is this? Yep, this one's $44. So not the most inexpensive thing in the entire world, of course. But like I said at the beginning, when it comes to skincare and hair care, I don't skimp on that. I feel okay with spending a little bit more on it because I feel like it's just super, super important. And the cool part about this too is that this is a huge, huge bottle. Like I bought this, oh man, I think well before Christmas, maybe even Thanksgiving. I don't use a ton, you know, every single day. I use it morning and night, but it has lasted me months. So I feel really good about grabbing this. It's been working pretty decently for me too. Another one that I have been using from Dermalogica is their eye serum. This is the um, Biolumin C eye serum. It's pretty darn expensive, pretty darn expensive, $74. But again, I feel like this is something that I really don't, that I don't wanna skimp on. I don't wanna cheap out on, especially when it comes to eye creams because that's obviously where like most of the wrinkles and fine lines and stuff are coming from. And I've, I've been enjoying this one. It's a nice, uh, cream that I've been using on. It blends into my skin really well. I feel like it's doing a good job. So fortunately I don't need to grab this right now. 
thank goodness. But uh, yeah, and the only downside really is that it's a small bottle, so I do go through it relatively quick, but again, I feel like it's worth it. I feel like, uh, I feel like it's doing a good job for me. Here's where I got my nails from, by the way. I've been using Opie press-ons. I'm obsessed. I love them. Never going back to the salon ever again. I feel like I do a much better job myself, to be quite honest with you. And it's been a lot of fun. Um, I don't know, trying out different ones. I'm, like I said, I'm obsessed uh, with the press-ons and I've very much been enjoying OPI OP here. So it looks like they have a bunch of uh, new ones in here, which is pretty cool. I'm gonna sift through these. Oop, there's my strawberry ones. This is what I have on right now. Moving on here to the hair care stuff. I've been using Bondi Boost for a little while now. I've been liking it. Been using this one in particular, the HG stuff. The big bottle is $30. A little bottle is $24. Again, relatively expensive, but I've been, it's been doing pretty good for my hair. And when it comes to hair care, I don't like to skimp on that sort of thing. I like to really try to take care of my hair as much as possible. So unfortunately, <laughs> I need to grab not only conditioner, but I need to grab shampoo as well. One thing I've been wanting to look into is like getting like a styling cream or something that has like, not like a gel or a pomade or something, but just because I have like curly wavy hair and I kind of want it to hold that curl as much as possible. This adaptable leave-in styling cream leaves hair soft, light structure, and a natural healthy looking finish, adding extra oomph while reducing frizz. Of course, everything's gonna sound like it's the perfect product, but that does kind of sound like what I'm looking for. Something lightweight, but will kind of do a bit of a hold. Um, so I don't know, I might, I might give this a shot. Like I said, I've been enjoying this brand in particular. Looks like it's $25. Okay, it's basket time. There we go. Also been thinking about investing in a curling iron again. I saw something really cool online last night when I was looking around. I tell you what, the future, the future is now when it comes to curling irons. Let me try to find it. Here it is. Here's one of them, this wave curler thing. I've never seen that before. Am I just, uh, am I just that out of touch? I don't know. But basically you, you put your hair in the middle there and then it, it just gives you, it gives you waves like that. So instead of curling each one individually, you kind of get a little bit more bang for your buck. So I don't know, I, I'm playing around, I'm thinking about maybe grabbing one, maybe buying one this time around, but man, the cheapest that I've been able to see is about this price, about $55. And again, we're already buying a lot today, so I don't I don't know if this is the time or not. Ooh, this one is a little bit similar. Seems like it would kind of do the same thing, and it's $45. Hmm. Have any of you used this before? Let me know down in the comments below. I'm really thinking about giving it a shot. I think that that could be fun to, to give, to try. I already have wavy hair, like I said, so I don't know. I think, I think that it could work. This one from Bedhead has in, it's adjustable, multiple uh, adjustable waver barrel. So I think you could do a lot with this and it's 45. So that's a possibility. Just randomly walking down the aisles here and I actually just came across one of the uh, hair care products that I've been using. You can buy this at Target too, by the way, Kristen S. Hair. I have been using this for my shampoo and I really, really like it. It definitely is very much a deep clean. It's $12, so not too bad, but it is a small bottle, so I go through this like super, super, super dang quick. But I would definitely recommend, I like it. It smells amazing too. I don't know if I've ever tried the, any conditioners. I've just, for some reason, only tried 
the shampoo, but would definitely recommend. I've I've been liking it. And they've got travel sizes in here too, so if you want to like give it a shot, give it a little try out. Always love getting the travel sizes whenever I can. Sometimes that's literally all that I need, um, depending on what it is. You know, if it's makeup, skincare, whatever it is. But also, it's obviously great to try out the product, see if you actually like it or not. Been forever on the hunt for a body lotion. I know people use hemp all the time. Hmm. Do any of you use it? Let me know in the comments below what your favorite scent is if you do and why you like it. Ooh, the cucumber aloe. Okay. That smells really good. Okay, I think for better or for worse, we are done. We're gonna head over and check out. Oh boy, not looking forward to this, but that's okay. We gotta do it. Anyway. I'll show you what I got in just a sec here. I bought so much stuff that they gave me a big bag. I don't know if I've ever gotten a big bag from from Ulta before. Oh my gosh. No, I don't want to talk about how much I spent. But because I frequent Ulta so very, very much, I had a lot of points, thankfully. And thankfully, I've been saving them up and saving them up. So actually I got $50 off of my order, which was so much that they even had to have one of the managers come over and authorize it. So thank goodness for that. Thank goodness I haven't been uh, been using my points, like I should be anyway, but nonetheless, um, that helped a lot. So yeah, but like I said, I knew I was gonna be spending a lot today. It is what it is. I just needed a lot of stuff. And yes, I did buy some extra purchases to you can't, Ulta is like one of those stores like Target where you go in there, you have something in mind that you're going to get, but you already know that you're coming out with several other things that you don't need, that you didn't plan on getting. So it's just one of, it's just one of those things. So anyway, I figure since we're so close to, uh, to home, let's head on home and then I will show you what I got. All right, we're back home, heading to the spooky bathroom where we'll do this haul and first things first I'm gonna wash my hands because they smell disgusting as they are a, an emulation I don't know if that's the word but uh I have so many different lotions on my hands right now and they smell disgusting plus you know germs and whatnot that's the first thing I always do when I come home is wash my hands Okay, now let's go ahead and get this haul started. I went ahead and put down my hair because I thought one of the things that we could do is actually try something out. I did go ahead and grab the wave thingamajig here. This is the $45 one. I think this is the last one that we looked at and I decided to get it because one, the price, Two, though, is because it has, it claims to have an adjustable waiver barrel. So I'm thinking there are different uh, looks that we can do with this. As a person who has only ever used a hair straightener, a blow dryer, and occasionally, occasionally a curling iron. This is, uh, this is very, very, very new uncharted territory for me. Okay, it got there, it's open. Um, take that off. Okay, so here is what we are dealing with. And now it looks like the adjustable part is this guy in the middle. So, okay, so you can make it super, super big or all the way down here. So that makes sense. So you would open it up all the way to have a looser of a curl and then put it down all the way for a tighter of a curl. My, uh, my guess there. It also looks like you can adjust the heat settings, which is 
What I recall from my curling iron is that you could adjust the heat settings and that was one of the things that I really loved about it the most is that it didn't have to just be the hottest of hot of a curling iron like it could be. Uh, it didn't have to be that hot, which I, I do appreciate. Uh, so that's good. And yeah, we'll just go ahead and uh, we'll plug this in and we'll give it give it a shot here. And by the way, as I'm as I'm getting this all set up, um, everything that I purchased today at Ulta is going to be linked down in the description below. So I recently <laughs> figured this out and I feel like a really big idiot for not having figured this out sooner, but YouTube does a cool thing where you can tag the products that you show on your videos. And when you tag them, it will create a link down in the description. And so if you see anything on these videos or anybody's videos that you like, and they tagged those products, you can click on those products and it will take you directly to uh, the website to buy them. And the cool part about it is that if you do that, and not just for me, but for any creator that does this, they actually get a commission for that purchase, which I think is really cool because, you know, we're out here, we're doing the stuff, we're shopping, we're showing off products. And if you're like me, I, you know, my favorite creators out there who, who do this sort of thing, if they suggest something that they really like, I'm buying it because of them. <laughs> I'm buying it because they thought it was really cool. And if they, you know, if they endorse it, I'm more inclined to buy it. That's just kind of how it works, right? Influencers, that's the name. Um, so they might as well get a piece of that profit, in my opinion. It just makes sense. So I think that that's really cool that that's an option. And again, I can't believe that I only just now figured out that this was a thing that I could be, could have been doing this whole time. So I'm gonna be doing that going forward. So I don't know, I'm just throwing that out there. I'm not gonna make it a whole thing on the channel and talk about it constantly, but I literally just literally just figured this out and I'm literally just setting it up now. So I'm gonna be doing it going forward. Um, so I thought I might as well shout it out and talk about it, explain it, that's what it is. Um, and yeah, so if you wanna help me out that way, that's really awesome. It literally isn't gonna cost you anything extra than simply purchasing the product, so. Um, I don't know. I think it's really cool. Anyway. Okay. To be honest, that took a lot longer than it should have to simply plug this thing in. Okay. We're ready to go. Let's turn it on. We'll just leave it at the default setting of 350 because that sounds good. But they they have like little arrows on the inside here so you can adjust it to whichever one you want. So we'll just leave it on 350. And we'll let that sit there. And don't worry, I have product in my hair. I have styling stuff in my hair that is uh, good for, I just realized I put two rings on the same finger. Anyway, um, that's good for uh, heat stuff. It's heat protectant. I have heat protectant already in my hair, so don't worry about it. We're, we're gonna be, we'll be set to go. This is literally just experimenting to see how this thing works, what it's gonna look like on my hair, and we're doing it together, woohoo! Huh? Anyway, let me show you some of the rest of the stuff that we got here. We'll just keep going with the whole hair thing here. So I got my Bondi Boost stuff. I went ahead and decided to get the shampoo in a smaller bottle since I still have a little bit of shampoo left, but I'm trying something different with the conditioner. Lord help me, please let this be okay. Um, but I went with the anti-frizz conditioner this time. Have a lot of frizziness. My hair is very thick. It's very frizzy. We're getting more and more humid out. It seems more and more humid and more and more warm out. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to try this out. Haven't tried the anti-frizz one out yet. So fingers crossed this works out okay. I'm sure it will. Also, I did go ahead and get the uh, the styling cream that we were looking at here, Volume Plus Texture Styling Cream. In fact, I may try to put, yeah, I may put this on before we try this out just so it might hold it a bit better. It says, squeeze a small amount into the palm, distribute through towel dried hair. So, that's kind of what we got going on here, though it's a bit more dry than just towel dry, but nonetheless, it's fine. It also says comb through for even distribution and then blow dry. 
Um, so that's interesting. So I don't think this is going to be very, very, um, what's the word? I don't think it's going to be like a gel or like a pomade sort of thing, which is great. That's not what I'm looking for. As I said, there it is on the palm here. I don't smell anything. I just heard my stomach growl though. I'm very hungry. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of put it through. Ooh, no, I smell it. Ooh, that smells good. So let's give it a try. I'm gonna put it on the biggest setting that it has. Well, I'll put it on a medium. That seems to be about a medium. Let's just, let's give that tr a try for the first one. And let's go in the back here in case this looks bad. So, get a small chunkage of hair. And you just put it through in the middle and then press down and press down and press down. I only know because I looked at a video yesterday because so it was like, what kind of sorcery is this? How does this even work? And that's it. So, okay. So you can kind of see it definitely gives like a bit of a crimp. This is like a crimper. Like this is a hair crimper. Like. This is taking me, I think this is part of why I kind of wanted to get it because like this is totally taking me back to middle school when like everyone was like crimping their hair. See that? That's not too bad. Yeah, it's not, it's not bad so far. Definitely gonna have to play around with it a bit. Could be I'm not doing stuff right either, but I can definitely see how it's creating like those beachy waves. See? What do we think? What do you think? I don't know what I think. I'm not sure. Let's try a bigger setting. It's hot, by the way. Be careful. I like that better. That was on the biggest setting all the way and that looks better. I have so much hair. Can you all tell how much hair I have? Like I look crazy pants right now. I have very, very, very thick frizzy hair. I have to be careful with what I do. And I have a feeling <laughs> if I did this with my entire head, my hair would be like out to here and which is kind of hilarious to me. But I like how this looks. This is really, really pretty. And it looks like this now, but I'm sure with time, as I go out and about like outside and stuff, it's gonna fall flatter, I think. And if I put more like styling product on it, I think it would fall flatter too. So I really kind of just wanted to see like how this would look, like how this would work on my hair. And I like it. The biggest setting is the way to go. I can, I can definitely tell. Cause this is really, this wave right here is really, really pretty. I like that. So we'll have to play around with it a bit more. Thankfully, we're not doing too much after this. So I can look a little crazy pants right now. It's fine. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to play around with this more and see what's going on. So if my hair looks like totally banana pants crazy, the next few videos, y'all know why. <laughs> so anyway, let's continue on with the haul here. Uh, like I said at the in the store, I've been using a lot of Lancome products lately, and because I've spent a decent amount of money on those Lancome products and a bunch of different products, um, sometimes Ulta will give you like a free gift because you purchased so much from that brand or whatever. And um, one of the free gifts that I got relatively recently was some uh, Lancome sample items. And one of them was their perfume, their Idol, Idel, Idol, probably Idol uh, brand in particular. It came with a lotion and a, um, a little tiny sample of this perfume. The lotion, best smelling lotion I've ever had in my entire life. It's really, really expensive. You can't find it in stores from what I've seen, so I might buy I might buy a bottle of it at some point. I don't know. We'll, we will see, but holy crap. 
the lotion of this smells fantastic. I'm obsessed. Um, the perfume, I wasn't really sold on initially. I was like, oh, this is, I don't know if I like it. But the more and more I used it, I kept it in my purse to like freshen up every now and then when I'm out and about. And the more and more I use it, the more and more I'm like, oh, dang, this smells really good. Like, I really like this. So I thought I would grab a tiny little um, travel size of it. It's definitely bigger than the one I have now. It's like a tiny one that I have now. But I, I grabbed a little travel size of it so I can keep it in my purse and just uh, use it every now and then. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. It smells really good. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm a fan. I'm a fan of it now. I love, gosh, I love perfume. I know fragrance in general is just not the best thing in the world. It's not a great ingredient. Unfortunately, it comes in so many of our beauty products and obviously it's in perfume. That is fragrance. So it's just like a mixture of random -o chemicals that you don't know what it is. And it's in general, not very good for you. Um, so I've been trying to limit my fragrances as much as possible. It's really, really, really hard though, because it's, it's in literally like every single beauty product and for no dang reason. Why does a powder have to have a smell to it? It doesn't, but it does for some reason. Um, so yeah, but I, I still love perfume. I, I sure do love perfume and I love smelling good. And it's not that you can't have a perfume or whatever that um, doesn't have fragrance in it. You can definitely get perfume that is like natural oils, essential, made out of essential oils and, and stuff like that. Those absolutely exist. They totally do. Um, and I want to look for more of them and use them more often. But I also don't necessarily want to completely give up on perfumes in general because I sure do love them. <laughs> I sure do. So, you know, it's a give and take process. Um, and yeah, that's where I am with life right now. Okay, next up here, um, I got my facial cleanser here. So excited about this. Very much on the dregs of what I have now. So that was a must. Also the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow pencil. Very excited about this because again, the one that I've been using from Target, oh boy, it's, um, it's not, it's not, not, not cutting it, not cutting it at all. We can talk more, but that, that's a whole story in and of itself. If this video is long enough. We will just, uh, we'll just skip over that. But long story short, this is where it's at. Worth spending a little bit extra money to know that my brows are going to come out much better than they have lately. And then finally, the two miscellaneous pro uh, products at the end here. So I did go ahead and grab the Hemp's Cucumber and Aloe Lotion. This is the tiny bottle. I think it was like $8 or something like that. Figured I'd try it out and see how I like it. Taking my own advice, getting a travel version of it just to try it out. And if I like it, I can get the big bottle. And then finally, I grabbed this from The Ordinary, this um, brand I've used every now and then, and it works out pretty well. The cool thing about The Ordinary is that it's literally just the ingredients. There's no extra anything in this baby, and I really, really, really appreciate that. Like, there's no fragrances. There's nothing in there that doesn't have to be in there, um, for what I understand, and it's really, really, really cheap. Like, it's really inexpensive, so... Um, I just grabbed the salic acid solution because acne is a thing that your girl deals with, okay? I deal with a lot of acne, so I've been looking for something like a, an acne treatment just to put on those troublesome areas, um, and I'm still on the hunt for that. We're all always on the hunt for the perfect skincare routine, aren't we? So um, if I'm going to try something new, especially on this huge haul here, uh, it's going to be something cheap. So that's what I went with. And yeah, we'll see what it goes, how it goes. It's better than doing nothing, which was what I've been doing. So it's gotta, it's, it's gotta be better than that at least. And with that, that is it. That's all the stuff that I got from Ulta. Uh, I didn't expect that half of this video would be the whole part of all of this. Uh, but it worked out because again, we don't have too much going on today. It's kind of a, a 
a lazy-ish Saturday, although we are going to the parks later with some pals. I'm really excited about that. Um, so I had just enough time to, to get this done today and yeah, we had time to try out some of the, <laughs> some of the stuff that I bought. So that works out well too. But all of that leads me to my next pitch here for you. Let me know if you all would like to see, um, first of all, more videos like this where we focus more on like beauty stuff. Um, let me know. I know I've pitched that before in the past, but that was back when I didn't have as many subs as I have now. Um, as many people on board here on the channel as we have now. Um, so let me know if that's something that you would like to see. Um, not just shopping, but actual like get ready with me things. So if you all want to see like, for example, my skincare routine, which honestly is kind of laughable because it's not, it's not that elaborate, trust me, but uh, I could definitely talk a whole video about my skincare routine and why I do the things I do and what I do and all of that good stuff. If you wanna hear about that, let me know in the comments below. Also, a, a get ready with me where I show you how I do my makeup. If you all wanna see that, let me know down in the comments below. We've done, I put my makeup on, on the channel a couple of times with you all before, but I've never sat down explained my process, explained the products that I use, and all of that good stuff. So if it's something that you wanna see, let me know down in the comments below. These are things that I'll probably just do anyway, because why not, why not? Um, and yeah, uh, anyway, that's it. That is it for this video. I hope that you all enjoyed it. Again, a little bit different from what we have been doing on the channel before. Um, but that's the point of all of this, right? Is to try out different things, do different things. We don't want to keep it stagnant here. We want to, uh, branch out and do different, different stuff. So I appreciate you all coming along with me on this shopping trip. It has eased the pain of how much I spent today. That's for sure. So thanks for that. Um, and I hope that you enjoyed it. Oh, and by the way, also let me know down in the comments below if there is a beauty product that you would recommend, whether it's makeup, skincare, hair care, nail care, whatever it is that you've been using for the longest time, uh, let me know down in the comments below. I am always on the hunt and on the search for new things to use and to try. Um, there's nothing, there's a few things in my routine um, that I probably wouldn't stray away from, but for the most part, I'm open to anything and I'm open to trying anything. So if you found something out there that you think is amazing and you want to share it with the world, pop it down in the comments below. Would love to hear from you. Would love to hear it. Uh, and yeah, I think that is it. So thanks all again for watching. I really, really appreciate it. Hope that you enjoyed it. And we got a lot more adventures coming up here as I always have been saying. Um, and yeah, that's it. Thanks all for watching. We'll see you later. Bye-bye, everybody. See you soon. Hair is banana pants. It's banana pants, obviously, but I just took some more time to play around with the, with the wave maker. <laughs> and in general, look how pretty it is. Like it does a really good a really good job. I just have to figure out how to use it, trial and error, especially with my bangs, because look how crazy this is. Insane. I don't know what I'm gonna do later when we go out. <laughs> I'll figure it out, don't worry. But in general, really pretty waves. So I'm pleased. I'm really pleased with it. We just have to, we just have to figure out how to use it correctly, but it's fine. Anyway. <laughs> That's it. Just just wanted to, just wanted to show you. Spent some time doing my hair with it all and I'm I'm pleased. I think it's going to work out well. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching everyone. See you later.